Hello guys and welcome back to TNT Madness. Today we're going to be looking at one of my most favourite cannons ever. This being the Chaos Cannon. Because the point of it is to blow up as much stuff as possible in as little time as possible. Even if it has no functional use, it is still one of the funnest cannons to play around with. Also, it has been over a year since I've made a Chaos Cannon and now I have made my most compact one yet. For everyone that doesn't know what a Chaos Cannon is, it is a cannon that fires incredibly large amounts of TNT at once and depending on its size it can fire hundreds of pieces of TNT per second so if all this TNT you're going to be doing a lot of damage and again that's the whole point of the cannon to create as much chaos as possible and hence the name. It is also a relatively simple and very small cannon especially considering all the damage it can cause. I managed to fit it into a space that's only 4x9 and is expandable. So now on to firing this beast. So now on to the redstone and probably the most important question how did I make this so much more compact. So the main reason being is I swapped over from a comparator clock to two sets of torch redstone torch burnout clocks. So if you don't know what they do it essentially they make one tick pulses with a redstone pulse and since there are 10 ticks in a second we can make the TNT fire each dispenser fire 10 times per second and that means since we have seven main propellant dispensers we can fire 70 TNT per second and we can expand this up to 16 blocks long and make a total of 160 TNT per second if we want to but as you know this is already insane enough and it is still extremely compact so because I swapped over from a comparator clock it means that I managed to fit these two into very small spaces because these can actually go right beside the dispenser while a comparator clock actually has to have free spaces from the redstone to actually activate the dispensers and the second thing is you have to have like a one tick pulse going out the very end of it but you can do two sets of it like so but it's just easier to do these redstone torch burnout clocks the only problem with these is that sometimes they go out however if you didn't know if you have them in sets of three like this then they will never go out and they're just as consistent and reliable as a normal comparator clock which makes them extremely useful so where this starts is we have this lever. So when we turn this on or off, well, the first thing that happens is this starts flickering like so, as you can see. And what that does is it means all of these dispensers down here will start firing out TNT into this water bit here. Since this is a half slab and that's also a half slab on the side here, now the TNT will escape. It will just stay in this tiny little area here. So what happens after that is 12 ticks later, this is just so we can have timing from when these activates to when these top dispensers activate is these turn off and then what happens is these this thing up here will start flickering 12 ticks later or 1.2 seconds later which means after 1.2 seconds this will start firing out all of these so that's the time how much time you have from 
when it fires from here to when it explodes, which gives it quite a bit of range considering what a chaos cannon can do. So it actually means you have a much more, much bigger spread and therefore you get a lot more randomness and just a bigger area of destruction, if you get what I mean. So because of this, the only problem with a uh, chaos cannon fundamentally is the fact that when you have this much TNT going off at once is that sometimes you'll have the TNT go off and push all the TNT to one side or the other side and then you'll have it firing off and like going sideways and all over the place and that's why we have this little containment thing over here so it's a little more concentrated but still really really chaotic which is still I guess the point of the cannon but that is pretty much the redstone is, is it is extremely basic and you probably don't need a tutorial to actually see how this is done but there will be a world download with this and the actual main part where I did all the explosions before it exploded and now we're going to do a tutorial anyway. So now onto the tutorial, what you're going to need is a 4x9 area with these edges being the actual bits of the end where you're just going to cover it up. This cannon technically can function without it but it's preferable that you have it and this white glass bit is just the overhang so without all this it's still functional just not that great but it would be a 7x3 area but because of this we need all this so it is a 4x9 area instead. Anyway the more important part what you're going to need is some building blocks, 7 slabs if you're going to be building this design it is expandable up to 16 blocks and then you're going to need 14 dispensers 18 redstone three redstone repeaters six torches a lever a water source block you can use two but you only need one and a lot 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 of tnt so the first thing we're going to be doing is placing down our dispenser so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go back one block and then place a line of temporary blocks all the way along here that go along by seven blocks after that what you want to do is go ahead and grab your dispensers and place them below that block and then you want to go ahead and place them in front of that block these are going to be both your main dispensers the bottom ones being the propellant and the top ones being the actual TNT that destroys things next thing you want to do is go ahead and place seven slabs along the front here so that way it can destroy everything and what I'd recommend that you do is go ahead and cover up this top part here so that way the TNT goes everywhere but not too everywhere as well as this block on the side here and this block on the side here. Then you want to go ahead and place down some water source blocks. If you only have one you can go ahead and place in the middle but because I like everything just perfectly if I could place blocks right because I like everything perfect I'm just going to go ahead and fill up every single block. So the next thing you want to go ahead and do is remove your temporary blocks like so and then go ahead and place redstone on top of this bottom one but on this top one you're going to place blocks on top of it and then you're going to go ahead and place redstone on top of that and then go ahead and place redstone on top of these dispensers like so. So what we're going to be doing next is placing down the very start of our redstone torch brown art clock so we're going to be placing three there and three here. So we're going to be placing blocks on top of this and then an extra one here because where our lever is going to be going and it's not actually there it's actually one in front of that sorry and you're free going to be going there and then you want to place some blocks on top of that so what we're going to be doing here is placing two redstone repeaters along here like so and then a block on top like so so that way it doesn't interfere with the redstone bar torch clock thing and then you want to go ahead and place another one on the top like here set to full text layer as well and then go ahead and place free redstone along the front like so then you can go ahead and turn this on so the whole thing turns off and then fill up every dispenser to the absolute brim with TNT you want to make sure they are all full and then you're going to fire it and within about 30 seconds it is going to be used all up so anyway that's pretty much how you build this and if you want again there's a download but anyway I hope you guys did hope you guys did enjoy this video and now that I'm back home properly and have no more issues I should be doing more videos so anyway goodbye from TNT Madden